Hello everyone, I'm Dan Philgreen, and this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, November 26th. On today's show, we talk about vital STEM certification with Christine Galata and Kate Martin. Don Boren is back to tell us more about the Shell Point concert series. And we're in the kitchen with Ruth Duber to find out what's cooking. But first, the Healing Journey support group here at Shell Point continues its series of sessions examining the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual effects of grief and how to get through it. The group will meet this afternoon at 245 in the hospitality room at the Village Church on the island. The annual Thanksgiving Eve service, hosted by the Village Church, takes place tonight at 715. Enjoy gathering with your friends and family as Senior Pastor Andy Hawkins leads the service. Several Shell Point residents and employees will also take part to share their expressions of gratitude this holiday season. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so if you're not up for preparing dinner, there are plenty of dining options for you all around Shell Point. The Island Cafe, Crystal Room, and Palm Grill will all be open. The Island Cafe will be serving breakfast and lunch beginning at 7 a.m. and then closing at 2 p.m. The Crystal Room will feature a festive Thanksgiving buffet with all the fixins starting at 10 a.m. and will stay open until 3. The buffet price is $24.95. And the Palm Grill will be open from 11 to 4, serving turkey, filet mignon, slow roasted ham, and Florida grouper. The Larson Pavilion at Shell Point is now offering a new therapy that may help many of you that have trouble swallowing. Rehabilitative Services Manager Christine Galata is here, along with speech and language pathologist Kate Martin, to explain. Hi, my name is Christine Galata, also known as CJ, and I am the Program Director for the Therapy Department at the Pavilion. And I am here with Kate Martin, our speech and language pathologist. And I am very excited to announce that Kate is now certified in vital stem therapy. This is a treatment that is proven through research to be safe and effective for difficulty with swallowing. Kate, what is vital stem and who benefits from this? Vital Stim is a neuromuscular electrical stimulation therapy we provide for people with um, swallowing difficulty. And what we do is place electrodes over the muscles required for swallowing um, or over the cheeks for being able to control liquids and solids in the mouth and help to strengthen and trigger those um, areas of the brain to help for swallow to make for a successful swallow. Um, people that benefit are pretty much anybody who has swallowing difficulties. A lot of the times um, after a stroke, we see many patients with swallowing difficulties, but between 6 to 15 million um, older adults in the United States have difficulty swallowing. And um, that can be people, you know, as simple as coughing with liquids, difficulty with swallowing their pills, um, having a little bit of liquids leak out of their mouth while they're, while they're drinking. Um, many different different characteristics, but pretty much anybody that has difficulty swallowing. And what should these people do if they think they might benefit from the therapy? How can they access your therapy? Okay, they can first of all get a referral from their doctor, and we can do a quick eval to see if uh, they would be a good candidate for this type of program. Um, and we would just go through the basic steps and and seeing uh, if they are having trouble swallowing and what we can do to provide them the help that they need. Well, I'm very excited for your new certification. I think it brings a new level of treatment to the residents. Um, we're very excited to be able to offer that. And I want to remind all Shell Point residents that we do offer full-time inpatient and outpatient physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. To access these services, you do need a referral from a physician. If you have any questions about the referral or about Kate's Vital Stim certification and the therapy involved with that, please give us a call at 454-2256. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. The Shell Point Concert Series continues next Tuesday with the first Concert and Conversation of the season. This program with trumpeter Mary Elizabeth Bowden is just one of the many spectacular shows slated for Shell Point this season. Don Boren is here with more on what's in store. The great thing about music is that it can be enjoyed in many different ways. 
Going to a concert with a thousand other people certainly has its excitement, but there's something special about being in an intimate setting with just a smaller group of people enjoying the best classical music from up and coming soloists. Hi, I'm Dawn Bourne, the Director of Resident Life here at Shell Point. I'm pleased to present the Concert and Conversation series, a Shell Point creation which brings the finest classical performances to the intimate setting of the Grand Cypress Room, allowing you to mingle with the artist after the performance. This year, we have four concerts to tell you about. The first is in December, as we welcome trumpeter Mary Elizabeth Bowden. This amazing young trumpeter started college full-time at age 14 and graduated with a master's from the Yale School of Music. She has soloed in numerous orchestras across the country, including our own Naples Philharmonic. Behold the artistry, purity, and power of this amazing young woman trumpeter Mary Elizabeth Bowden, coming to Shell Point on Tuesday, December 2nd. In January, a dynamic duo visits the Grand Cypress Room, pianist Richard Dowling and cellist Evan Drachman. Richard Dowling's piano repertoire includes everything from Chopin classics to Scott Joplin rags and Gershwin's musicals. Evan Drachman is the grandson of famous Russian cellist Grigor Pedagowski and heads a foundation in his name to bring live classical music to as many people as possible. Expect an entertaining program when these two get together at Shell Point on Thursday, January 29th. In February, we welcome pianist Thomas Pendolfi to Shell Point to bring back what he calls as the golden age of pianism. Thomas is a Juilliard graduate whose repertoire stretches from the romanticism of Tchaikovsky and Chopin to more modern concerts, even throwing in a little Gershwin for good measure. You'll love the excitement this young pianist brings to his performances, which has thrilled audiences throughout Europe, as well as dozens of symphony orchestras right here in the USA. Don't miss the solo piano of Thomas Pendolfi on Thursday, February 26. We end the season with the concert for String Lovers featuring violinist Anna Serkovanik. Anna has played violin since the age of four. Since her early beginnings, she has performed in such far-flung places as Paris, Tokyo, and Hamburg, Germany. After coming to the United States, she has played in multiple trios and chamber groups, including at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Enjoy some lovely sonatas and other classical favorites with violinist Anna Sukervanik performing on Monday, April 13th. That's our lineup for the Concert and Conversation series. All concerts take place in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands with the dessert hour following the show, so you can mingle up close and personal with the young artists. Seating is limited, so be sure to get your $25 ticket for the performance of your choice or save money by purchasing all four concerts for just $80. Details about this and all the Shell Point concert series are available in the concert series brochure or online at www.shellpoint.net. Extra order forms are available at either service desk on the island or the woodlands. Invite your family and friends to a wonderful night of classics with the concert and conversation series right here at Shell Point. As you're getting ready for tomorrow's big Thanksgiving feast, make sure you remember dessert. Ruth Duber of Periwinkle is here now with a great way to wrap up that holiday meal in today's What's Cooking. Hi, this is What's Cooking at Shell Point. Uh, we don't have the red aprons on today, but I have my daughter Kathy. Uh, this is the last of my four 
to be on the cooking show. So yep. maybe you're relieved. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she has no more children. I'm the last. Yes. But, but you, I was the first. You were the first, yes. <laughs> and the reason for the blue aprons is Kathy just returned from a trip to Paris. And uh, she remembered my love of the blue and white. And so that's what we're wearing today. But is, it still is what's cooking at Shell Point. <laughs> and uh, Kathy has a dessert for us here today. And before you shout and holler that there's butter in it, um, it makes this size pan. And I don't think anybody is going to eat the whole dish. So um, that's where we get the flavor. So Kathy, you're up. I'm okay. Up. Uh -huh. That's right. All the rest of the family did healthy foods, and I get to do dessert. But who doesn't like a dessert after a healthy meal, right? First of all, we're going to do um, the preparation of the pan. This is a cookie crunch ice cream dessert. Uh, it serves as many as 12, but the nice thing, as mom said, is that you can keep it and it's frozen. So you can take out as many slices as you want. You might want to serve it after a meal or perhaps just for an evening dessert. So I've sprayed the pan. And then for easy preparation, we use the cookie mix. We're using chocolate chip cookie mix today. Sprinkle it into the bowl, the pan, I guess. Uh, I had a wonderful thought this morning that you could do this with almost any cookie mix or cookie batter. Um, we're doing it with chocolate chips today, but um, what fun it would be to do for Christmas with white sugar cookie recipe with uh, white chocolate chips and perhaps pieces of peppermint candy. That would work too. Today we're going to have some pecans. Again, this is optional. You don't have to add it. It's a half a cup. Again, sprinkling it over the dish. And we're also going to add a half a cup of chocolate chips just to make it gooier, right? A little bit of dark chocolate. chocolate. No, that's right. It's good for us, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we're going to add our one stick of butter Yes, that is our downfall, but oh, it's going to make everything stick together and make it feel, taste so yummy. There we go. I melted it in the microwave, of course, covered so it didn't splatter. I can already smell the chocolate. Yum. Then we're going to take our fork. This is called forking. And we're going to fork. We're going to fork so the butter and the chocolate chips and the pecans get all mixed into my batter here. First, I would have heated my oven to 375 degrees. That's important to do before you start. Um, luckily, Mama did that. The other thing you need to do first is to get your ice cream out so that your ice cream starts to melt. Because when this is done, after it's baked in the oven, we're gonna mix it with the ice cream. All right. I think okay. it's ready to go. Okay, and I'll oven, take it over there. Okay, 375 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. So check it to make sure it's nice and golden brown. The magic of television, it's all done. This is a half a pan. I've already prepared half of it. We're going to do the forking process again. You're gonna break it up so it's in bite-sized pieces to put into your ice cream. Chocolate chip and ice cream. Sounds pretty good, huh? Just like after, after school with chocolate chip cookies That's and right. milk, yeah. Mama. Kathy's married to a preacher, <laughs> and so she's had lots of church suppers. So she's kind of expert at making things that they really like. So, <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to get boring. You want to have a different recipe. That's why it's nice to have a Mama who has a cooking show, right? Mm -hmm. She always gives me different recipes. Now you can just let your ice cream uh, thaw in its container, but I will warn you, some of those containers leak. So as it gets melted, is, it gets kind of why, messy. That's why it's in here, because that's it right. did leak. It did leak, so we <laughs> took it out of there. Yeah. So you wanna put that down, Mama, and I'll put okay. some of this. Oh, you want, that's right, yeah. you do mix it in. Okay. Oops. We could even save a few of the cookie crumbs to sprinkle on top. Shall we do that? Mm -hmm. We can get those out. This is a good recipe you can make with your grandchildren too. Let them stir the cookie 
dough into the ice cream. You do need a wooden spoon or a fairly sturdy spatula because you're gonna mix it in well with the ice cream. Now this we could flatten into that pan. Could the do pan's it pretty warm. Okay. Yeah, Kathy, I think we'll wait and we'll okay. put it in another pan and you show the one that's finished. All right. <laughs> we have a lot of dessert to eat. <laughs> Here you can see we put it in the smaller pan and it's frozen. I have had it out for a while to get it so that it can be cut easily. If it's very frozen, you can just cut a slice. Of course, the first one is always the hardest to take out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or put it in a pretty bowl. Oop. Flip. All right, chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie crunch ice cream dessert. Mm. Looking good. How about a little bit of caramel to top it off to make it really, really, really decadent. Chocolate and caramel are fantastic A little together. salty with the sweet. Mom mm -hmm. likes that. That's right. Drizzle a little of that. Mm-hmm. And our two little raspberries to brighten it up. There we go. Wow. Chocolate ice cream oh, dessert. That looks Are you so going to taste it, Mom? Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Mom. Well, it's, it's not salmon. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all these years of cooking. Oh, you're very you welcome. Us very I'm, well. I'm blessed to have four kids that love to cook. So <laughs> here we go. Mm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that Pretty is good? really, oh, my goodness. Mm. I'll tell you what, we'll put this recipe up on the website. I hope you try it. It'll be great for the Christmas holidays. So you can make it ahead, you can freeze it, and then take it out when you need it. So it's great. a great recipe. Bye-bye. Now it's time to cover all of today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Hi, Shell Point. I'm Melody Desolate here today with Mary Franklin. We're the M&M team here to tell you all about what's happening on Wednesday, November 26th, the day before Thanksgiving, Mary. I know. It's getting close. I'm getting hungry. And I have pie duties, so we'll have to make <laughs> pumpkin, apple, and coconut cream. Oh my goodness, you're going to be busy. So let's get started, because I know you're all busy out and about at Shell Point. At 745, we have men's Bible study happening in the Osprey Room on the island. At 8 o'clock, men's match play doubles tennis will be meeting at the tennis courts at the Woodlands. At 8.45, we have our weekly jewelry service, Lily and Company Jewelers, in the Resident Activity Center on the island. At 9 o'clock, there's a few different things happening. Jurassi Travel will be meeting with residents in the Egret Room. And at 9 o'clock as well, we have the Watercolor Group with Phil Hilton in the Art Studio. At 9.15, we have card making and scrapbooking. They meet in the Tarpon Room. And at 10 o'clock, there's a few options, ladies' Bible study in the Osprey Room, or for the men, men's match play doubles tennis at the Woodlands. At 10.15, the Model Yacht Sailing Club will sail their boats at the Cummins Lake at the Woodlands. Mary? Chess will be played in the Library Lounge at 1 o'clock. And 1.15 is the monthly hearing enrichment group meeting in the Manatee Room of the Island, and they'll have a special guest presentation, so make sure to attend. From 1.30 to 3.30, the model train room will be open for tours. And 1.45, balance and mobility training level one will take place in the health club on the island for those that are signed up. Head on over to the Grand Cypress Room at 2.30 for jazz and stuff and their wonderful musical performance. Healing Journey will take place in the chapel of the Village Church at 2.45. In the Bible study group, we'll be gathering at 3 o'clock in the community room of King's Crown. And also at 3, you can join the Pilates stretch group in the health club on the island. 3.30, aqua agility and conditioning water class will take place in the Life Quest Aquatic Center. And if you enjoy the game of pickleball, head on over to the court at 4 o'clock. And we wrap up Wednesday night with the traditional community Thanksgiving service in the Village Church. That service is always a wonderful one of giving thanks and hearing from employees on what they are thankful for. So Melody, what are you thankful for this season? I am absolutely thankful for my job. Yes. My boss. 
Ding, She's ding, good. Ding. <laughs> and of course, my family and my little boy who is two and a half. Oh, good for you. Well, we all have a lot of to be thankful for, especially here at Shell Point. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And even though administration offices are closed tomorrow, there's still things going on. So tune in to find out what it is. Hi, I'm Terry Coleth with your Academy information for Wednesday. At 9.30, painting a self-portrait continues in the sable room of the woodlands. At 1.45, word processing prep school continues in the computer teaching center on the island. Please watch for your spring semester Academy brochure in your Shell Point mailbox and on www.shellpoint.net on Wednesday, December 17th. Registration begins the very next day on December 18th at either service desk and online. Classes begin on Monday, January 5th, 2015. I want to say a big thank you to every resident who presented in the Fall Academy of Lifelong Learning and to every resident who signed up for a class. Happy Thanksgiving. Menus for Wednesday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is roast lamb with rosemary potatoes and fresh Brussels sprouts. The dinner special is the pasta buffet for $13.95, and the soup of the day is tortilla. In the Island Cafe for lunch on Wednesday, the special is a seafood schooner on an English muffin with chips for $7.25. The dinner special is fried shrimp for $8.25. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are New York Strip for $18.95 or pork tenderloin for $15.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm David Pavey, an assistant pastor, and I'm here today in my capacity as the administrator of the Alpha program. I've invited my friend Ken Axtell to be with me because I'm going to ask him a few questions in a few moments. Thank you for joining us. Alpha is a program that we run each year. This will be the 12th consecutive time over a 12-year period that we have offered the Alpha program here at Shell Point. It's sponsored by the Village Church and also by the Academy. The Alpha course will be offered in the Grand Cypress Room over a 10-week period beginning January the 13th and ending March the 17th in the new year. Space is limited. And so the sign-up period is right now, and you would need to sign up soon if you plan to attend. The signing up period ends on uh, January the 5th. To register, please call the Village Church at 454-2147 as soon as you can. Space is limited, so don't delay. I'm happy to have my friend Ken Axtell here today. Ken, thank you for joining me. Now, You're you welcome. went through the Alpha course. I did, along with my wife. Ah, the two of you. Oh, yes. Which we, which we encourage. Now, what was it that first attracted your attention to this course? I think the thing that, or the information that first intrigued us uh, was information found in the Village Church bulletins every week. And I had heard about, and my wife had heard about Alpha in other churches that we attended in other states. But the uh, thing, shall I say, that really pushed us into deciding to do it was a, a comment from a dear friend of ours who said, you must attend. <laughs> so he's a graduate. And I think highly of this individual. And uh, so Margaret and I talked about it and said, you know what, we can do it. At first, it seems kind of uh, difficult to think that you're going to commit 10 Tuesday nights, yeah. 10 consecutive Tuesday nights to Alpha, but it's doable, and we did it, and we graduated. Did you actually enjoy it, or just we have did. to persevere? We did. Uh, what was most interesting about it was the video lecture by Nikki Gumbel, and that really was the highlight for us. In addition to that, of course, we had fellowship around the table as we ate, and we uh, met some new Christian friends, some of whom we still yeah. see every week and say hi to, so we know their names and hopefully they know ours. That's, that's wonderful. That seems to happen every year. Uh, how do you feel you benefited from Alpha? I mean, you were a church man. You've been to church for years. 
you weren't a stranger to the Bible by any means. So are there any practical ways in which this impacted your life? I like to compare it, and I think my wife would agree with me, to compare it with a precious jewel that has been cut. And I think Nicky, every one of his lectures in the 10 consecutive sessions, kind of lit a different facet of that jewel so that we really had a refreshing and a, a re-look at basic Christian beliefs. And to me, that was, that was very important at this stage of life, to really sit down and have a review, uh, have an opportunity mm -hmm. to talk afterwards with folks in the uh, breakout sessions. But it was really a renewal of uh, basic tenets of the faith. That's good. I sometimes think that people are a little more open to thinking through some of these things as coming here to Shell Point. Maybe they have more time, but they're certainly in a stage of life where they realize they're not going to live physically forever, and they want to be sure they're right with, uh, with God. And um, yeah, so that testimony is, is very powerful to me. If people are considering Alpha, do you have any advice you'd give them? If they're considering it, I think if, uh, if they and their spouse or he or she and the spouse are considering it, I think they ought to talk about it together and uh, make it a, a joint effort. If there is not a spouse, certainly uh, consider it in your own mind and uh, consider it something that ought to be done. Sure. Because it, my wife likes to use the uh, expression of filling the car with gasoline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, you have to fill it with petrol. Yeah. And uh, that's her renewal, yeah. is to fill her mind and her body with the Word of God. That's really good. Ken, thank you for coming in and sharing these thoughts with me today. You're so welcome. Really it's my pleasure. Really appreciate it. My pleasure, indeed. And thank you for tuning in to Village Church Connections. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow as we go soaring with your homemade airplanes. Plus, Don Bourne is back with more on the Shell Point Concert Series. And Shell Point residents tell us why they're thankful. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Wednesday, November 26th. I'm Dan Philgreen, and from all of us at Shell Point TV, we hope that you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.